freeze. Did I get you? Hello, my lovely monsters. I am Fossa the Silver Chimera, and I've returned with a new stasis build for the Warlock. Let's get to it. Part one, the weapon. We're using the exotic pulse rifle, no time to explain. This comes with the perk, rewind again. Precision shots and shots against combatants slowed or frozen by stasis will return to the magazine. This is a stasis build after all, so this will come in handy in just a bit. The second perk is time slip. At 10 stacks of rewind again, a small portal will open, shooting bullets from an alternate timeline version of this weapon. Precision hits extend the portal's duration. So this little bullet buddy is fun, and it also shoots frozen enemies, even if you're looking at something else. This weapon also comes with feeding frenzy, so the more things you kill, the faster reload. And finally, we have the catalyst, blast from the side. Projectiles from the time portal shoot more frequently. More bullets is always good in my book. Part two, the armor. We're using the exotic chess piece, Chromatic Fire. This comes with the perk, Crystalline Transistor. Precision final blows from kinetic weapons create an explosion that deals damage in the element of your subclass and applies elemental effects. So we get explosions, which is the only reason I wake up in the morning. And because we're in stasis, the little explosions will apply slow, which helps out with the synergy of this build. Part three, class and mods. We're on the shade binder and I recommend the dust field grenade for the shorter cooldown. As for our aspects, first up is ice flare bolts. Shattering a frozen target spawns seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. I like spreading ice, so you can call me the snowman up in this bitch. The second aspect is Bleak Watcher. Press and hold the grenade button to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles and nearby targets. With this aspect, we now have a bullet buddy and a freezing friend. Who needs a fire team, am I right? For our fragments, first up is Whisper of Rending. Primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. No time is kinetic, so this just made sense. Next up, Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional stasis crystals increase the duration of this benefit. We'll be making crystals fairly often with our artifact mod, and we'll be using grenades a lot, so this helps us throw even more grenades. Next is Whisper of Fissures. Increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. More damage is good, and this helps with the spreading out of the damage, along with all the slowing and freezing shenanigans that are to come. Finally, we got Whisper of Bonds. Defeating frozen targets generates an orb of power. Minus 10 to intellect. I love orbs for mod synergy and ability energy. And we're freezing everyone that looks at us wrong, so why the hell not? Moving to our artifact mods, the main two are, of course, Pillar of Ice, defeating a frozen target, spawn stasis crystals, and Hail the Storm. Shattering frozen targets and stasis crystals deals increased damage. Shattering stasis crystals release shards of ice that damage and slow targets. I also recommend Dragon's Bite since we're rocking stasis anyway. And remember that pulse rifles are anti-overload this season. So now no time can deal with the demon spawn that are overload champions. As always, use the artifact mods that fit your playstyle and the content that you're running. For our armor mods, on the head, I'd say a kinetic siphon since we're using no time to explain. And I'd like using some heavy ammo finders, but hey, do you. On the arms, you're gonna want a grenade kickstart mod for more turrets, momentum transfer, and impact induction for more ability energy. On the chest, I'd recommend two charged up mods to increase the amount of armor charges we have. On the legs, use stacks on stacks so you can fill up your armor charges faster. Absolution for more ability energy on orb pickup and recuperation for a little bit of health. Finally, on our class item, Reaper for more orb generation, distribution, and bomber for more grenade energy. With all these pieces working together, you get a build that locks the enemy down. Personally, I think this build works really well in Onslaught. Your bullet buddy and turrets watch your back, and there's ice everywhere. The seekers are freezing enemies in their tracks, and chromatic fire is sending a slowing burst every time you get the headshot which leads to even more freezing and shattering. It's a great time. But now I need to talk about the most important part of any Destiny build. Part four, the fashion. This is the outfit I came up with and I love it. I went deep into the whole Vex theming and I think it turned out great. The blue on the Conflex Control ornament from the Chromatic Fire fits beautifully with the rusty bronze coloring of the Omnicronia shader and the pieces from the Hazen Lord set feel right at home here. It feels cold and calculating. Kinda like the build if you think about it. Henceforth, this build will be known as 
frozen time. Because in every timeline, your enemies will know the cold, unforgiving fury as an everlasting winter that follows them to the grave. So that's the build. Feel free to try it out in Onslaught, and I hope it serves you well. Tell me your thoughts. Do you like the build? Do you like the outfit? Are there any adjustments you'd make? Talk to me in the comment section below. And if you don't know what to say, how about no time? Because you're in a hurry. Much love to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it immensely. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy your stay. If you want more build to try out an Onslaught, I have a playlist right here. Feel free to check that out. If you want to hear my sexy voice reading some Destiny lore, I have a playlist right here. You know, don't be afraid to check that one out either. With all that said, if you could do me one more favor and look through the subscribe button's phone to see what it's really been up to, that would be great. I am Foss the Silver Chimera. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. It is an honor and a privilege. Have a good day, and I will see all of you beautiful monsters next time. Oh,